Battlebox Mission 34, let's check it out. Bug out bags are one of the most important elements of being prepared. Uh, you never know when you need those items uh, at the last minute to be able to grab them and go. And so today we're going to take a look at the Battle Box Mission 34 and it is their 72 hour bug out bag. And this is a huge box. So we're going to get into it. That's one of the things about Battle Box to me. It's one of the best subscription services out there. Uh, it's just always top notch gear and it the price is much lower than what you'd have to pay individually well guys we definitely have a big box this time i'm pretty excited about checking this out being a bug out bag we have all the contents in here and we're going to pull them out and we're going to take a look they always include a card that shows the basic advanced pro and knife of the month club or the pro plus and then you have your sit rep 72 hour bug out bag and a lot of details. Now the tier one is a basic kit, it's $24.99. We're gonna go through each of the items and test them out. First is a small flashlight. Uh, this is an aluminum body. It has the battle box name on it, and then it says Cree on the other side for the Cree LED. Uh, it has a little pocket clip. Uh, it's 100 lumens, and uh, it actually uh, turns to make it really point. It gets a real hot spot right there, and then you can bring it out, and you get a wide field of view. It has a crenulated bezel, so you can actually use this for self-defense if you need to. Uh, but having light, and I always say this, is your number one security tool. So this is a good basic light to put away in your kit. It uses a single AA battery, and uh, it just screws right in. The battery is not included. And this also has strobe. Uh, turn it on, kind of double press. You don't even click, and you've got a strobe feature. Okay, here I am about 10 feet away. Kind of a big spotlight uh, and, we, and we turn it in and it gets real narrow right there at that lock you can see it is kind of really bright but as I pull it back it's pretty dramatic actually it's almost like a regular spotlight definitely a lot of light for you know per little task personal task uh, I don't think search and rescue or anything like that is going to be good but you could definitely use it for signaling and then here we have the strobe. Next we have the Tac Bivy by Survival Frog. This is an emergency sleeping bag. Comes in this small little bag with a lock right here. Pulls out. This is a super great thing to have. It's got the Mylar inside, so it's much, very much like an emergency space blanket. It's very lightweight, but yet this will retain 90% of your body heat. Now it's definitely cold out here this morning, but I'm pretty warm. I mean, this is a great backup. <laughs> it may not last too, too long, but it definitely gets you by in a pinch. And if rescuers are looking for you, uh, it's gonna be fairly easy to find course then you can actually signal with reflection as well and what's really amazing is the bivy went right back into this bag it wasn't easy but it's back in here and speaking of heat here we have the mini inferno this is all-weather fire you have these small little chips and this is a fire starter these are little wafers they look like a potato chip or a cookie don't eat it now it says to take and tear a small piece and make sure that the piece you tear is kind of up so it can be exposed. Just light the tip. Now it says to actually let it set for about 30 seconds. 
kind of allows it to get started. And then of course you can see it puts together a pretty decent fire very quickly. Now one thing you'll notice is that the edges are turning black and don't get rid of these edges because it actually becomes char cloth. So you have a two in one. Next we have the water drop. This is a high purity water filter. Uh, guys, you know I'm big about having a way to get water. You can only last three days without water. And so we're going to check this out. It does block bacteria, viruses, and cysts. It is an osmotic water filtration pouch. Bring out our pouch. comes with straws. We have five different pouches. And you have five straws. Now just take the pouch, put it in the water. Now one thing about these pouches, they contain a sports mix in it. So when you hydrate it, it actually has a sports uh, drink flavor to it. Uh, the only thing is, this needs to set in the water for eight hours before it's full. So, you know, and then you're supposed to drink it within 24 hours. It doesn't matter what kind of water, it can be muddy water. Uh, it doesn't need to be like industrial waste or salt water, but standard, any regular water should work. But I'm not standing down here for eight hours at the creek waiting on this to fill up. Okay, plan B. <laughs> we'll see how it does in the morning. We let this set overnight. Um, it says just for 12 hours, but I just left it in. Uh, so it's probably been about 18 hours. So we're going to put this through here. I'm afraid it's going to spew out. There we go. Whoops. All right, let's try it. Wow. Tastes like lemonade. Not really, or more like Gatorade. So not only are you purifying water, but you have a drink. And uh, it's going to help with electrolytes, keep your body well supplied and hydrated. I drank the whole thing. That was good. And last in the basic kit, we have the Backpackers Pantry, and this is Louisiana red beans and rice. And this is definitely going to be probably my favorite part of the review. <laughs> now for the Backpackers Pantry, we're going to go ahead and cook this. Uh, it's two and a half cups of water. We're using our little Lakia stove, and we're going to just pour the water in. We're going to be using some of this Tender Torch from Ingalls Creek Outdoors. This stuff is great. And to get this started, we're going to use one of the Exotac Titan lights. Doesn't take long to get this started. You can even use this stuff as a match. Guys, this thing is burning. That stuff is great. All right, guys, we got it boiling. We're going to go ahead and open up our meal. There's an oxygen absorber in here. You need to take that out. We can go ahead and pour in our meal. That says to stir well. Now we don't have a lid for this, so we're just going to cover it. Doesn't really say on the package if you're supposed to remove the heat, but it says sit for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, it's been sitting for about 15 minutes. We're going to stir it up. That's good. And it's a good thing that it's good because this is my lunch. Oh, it's got some kick to it too. I like that. That's not bad. And of course, the beans and rice make a complete protein. So you don't have meat, but maybe a little squirrel can help take care of that. <laughs> now for the advanced kit, we have one of the Exotac Poly Strikers, and this is a ferrocium rod. Uh, this is waterproof. It's ultra light, and it goes up to a thousand strikes and it burns at 5,500 Fahrenheit. The Exotac Poly Striker, right at the back here, you push it out, and this allows for the striker to come out. Then we take our striker. We're gonna get some of that, there you go, pretty quick. Works like a little champ. The hardest part about that is getting that little striker out. But once you do, it pops right out. Exotac's making some pretty cool stuff. 
And next we have the BattleBox Camp Bottle Set with Bale. It has this nice mesh covering. We'll pull it out. Oh yeah, we've got a nice bottle, water bottle here with the BattleBox logo. We have the pot and this of course you can set this on your fire and then we have a handle as well just attaches and of course it detaches for easy storage you can lift this off do whatever I mean you can dip this in water and get your water to be able to filter it and you even have a small lid and we're going to remove the handle and the lid goes down now that's a pretty cool setup now the water bottle, you can just fill it up with the water from home. Pop the lid down on it. And you've got water. It's a water bottle. <laughs> One thing that's pretty cool is that this little can, or this little pot, has markings right here. It goes all the way up actually to 25 ounces. And we're going to use the water bottle to fill it up. One thing I love about this water bottle is that it is a single walled uh, container so you don't have to worry about this thing exploding on a fire if you want to cook. Plus there's no plastic attached to the stainless. Go bring in our pot and we're going to fill it with water. And here we go. We can get it boiling easy enough. If we want to we can take our little handle, put it on here and just lift it right up or we can bring it down on it when we're finished. I love this removable handle. The handle right here is not hot, which surprised me a little bit. And the advanced kit, which also includes the basic kit that we've just shown, is $49.99. For the pro kit, we have the 72 hour bag. This is a 45 liter bug out bag. We'll look at all the details. But also, we have a fish trap, and this ought to be interesting. <laughs> now, as far as the bag goes, you can see it does come with a shoulder strap. It has a nice grab handle, and we're going to take a look at some of the features of this bag. I think there's a lot of versatility to this bag. It's not a super high-quality Maxpedition, but uh, it definitely would be great to have just as a backup, and uh, seems pretty solid. Now there's zippers back here with keepers. We can open this up and this reveals your shoulder straps. Now when I first got this thing out I was like well you still got this big flap but what you do with the flap is just roll it up and right here you have a Duraflex buckle keeper. Also have a grab handle here. So now I can carry it on my back, have a waist strap right here, it even has a keeper to hold the excess in place. These pads are actually fairly comfortable. This just rides on the back of your neck, the flap. And it does have the mesh pads right here to keep that perspiration off your back. There's a sleeve right here to hold your water bottle. Uh, you also have compression straps at the top and the bottom. One thing that I found though is that with the water bottle here, it's actually on the bottom if you're carrying it by the handle. So that's a little bit different. Uh, and then of course we need to relieve our compression straps to get into the side of the bag. This is your main compartment right here. Uh, I went ahead and put everything in here just to see how it would fit and you've got plenty of room left over. Here you can see it's a nice big pocket. There's a padded sleeve right here, a little Velcro keeper as well. There's also a grab handle down here at the bottom. Uh, and then we have a small pocket here. This pouch goes all the way to the end. And I uh, just went ahead and placed some of the items in here to kind of separate it out. But you still have plenty of room. It's just an open pocket with this kind of a nylon material. Uh, there are no other dividers. There's a little hook and loop field patch right here. And then we have some molly type webbing. Uh, looks stitched very well. Uh, and then we have a couple of straps. You can actually put a sleeping bag, something like that. And these are adjustable. Uh, here we have another compartment and this goes all the way to the bottom of the bag here we've got our food our water and our knife and of course you can see there is a sleeve pouch right here but it's that same kind of polyester material and then another strap here so I can grab both the straps like this and be able to pick it up carry it 
have a strap here, and then when I have this deployed, I've got a strap here. So it's a really versatile bag. Uh, the keepers are plastic or some kind of polymer with little catches, and they do swivel. Uh, the webbing seems to be good and tight. Um, you know, it, really for a serious bug out bag, I'd like to see metal, maybe metal D rings here, but overall, not a bad little bag. Now the fish trap actually you pull this string at the top and it'll pop out. And then it locks right here at the top. So you've got like a tent kind of setup. Uh, this is obviously for fairly shallow water. We're going to try it in a creek, but uh, the creek's pretty shallow. So we'll just see how it works. There are four separate holes and the fish are supposed to go in and you have some bait set up so it attracts them in and then they can't come out. It's a pretty cool idea. Definitely in deeper water, this would be pretty cool. Um, but this would actually, I think, work. I didn't put any bait in it, but you can see how it works. And then there's a string at the top where you can pull it out when you're ready. And the fish that you catch actually could be decent size. And when you're finished, just pull it right up and the fish are contained in the bottom. I decided to put some bait in the fish trap and I left it overnight. And this is what we found. Okay, I'm lying, we didn't really do that. <laughs> now these two items in the pro kit, plus the advanced kit, plus the basic kit, runs $99.99. Now for the pro plus or the knife of the month club, you get a Tops, and this is one of their field crafts by Brothers of Bushcraft. These knives on their own run $129. I've seen those a number of places. Uh, it has the uh, micarta handles. The blade is made from 1095 high carbon steel. It has kind of a rough texturing right here. I know these come in different colors, of course, made in the USA. This is a solid knife. I really like this knife. Uh, it even has a place uh, for your bow drill, which makes it also nice, and it's on both sides. Uh, full tang. has a modified scandium grind on here. Uh, this is a really beautiful knife, and it also comes with a sheath. Grape. Also, the back end of this is a good angle. Really good feathering right there. Get some splinters. Real easy to break up this tender torch as you can see this is a pretty heavy knife and you can get them very small This is kind of a small knife for chopping, but we're going to go ahead. It may take a while, but it can do it. So guys, you get all of these items for $149. Considering that the knife itself is worth $129, I think you're coming out pretty much ahead great gear and again guys i'm telling you battle box to me again is the premier subscription box company if you're looking for survival tactical type gear i've not been disappointed one time now for more information i'll have the link down below you can click and get a 10 percent off the battle box for the first month and uh, it's a great deal again guys they put really top quality gear in here so if you're looking for things that are just unusual and you like to get a surprise box every month, uh, BattleBox is a great way to go. And I want to thank BattleBox for sending the box for this test and evaluation. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. It does use one, it does use a, it uses a single, and guys, if you've been in the outdoors and it gets wet, this is a, and guys, being comfortable, oh, it's not a rain poncho.
Man, I look like a giant slug. <laughs> An orange slug. Gonna bring in our pot. Look, the video's over. I'm all nice and all, but this is all I got, and I'm gonna eat it all. So, see you later. Mmm, good.